Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be another mystery creation video and I'm starting off with these flowers from the Dollar Tree. I had a ton of flowers just kind of laying around and let's see what I do with them. For the first DIY I'm going to be starting off with this frame from the Dollar Tree. It's actually one of their round mirrors and then some of these leaves that I have laying around also from years and years ago that I got at the Dollar Tree. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to arrange them around this frame and um, a really, what do you call, say, uneven or a scattered pattern. It's going to be pretty random. So at first I started cutting the leaves because I thought they were too big. So I used some of them were cut in half and some of them were full just to give it a more, I don't know, complete look. I didn't want it to look like a bunch of leaves. So I just use some hot glue to glue everything onto the frame. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and a little bell next to it so you don't miss another video. Again, it's very sporadic, very random. Next, I took some of these leftover flowers. I cut the back of them because I wanted them to lay flat. And then I started gluing them all along the sides of the frame with the leaves. Same thing with the blue flowers. Just whatever I had laying around and left over. And then I had something that looked like this. Then I took it outside and I give it a nice coat of gold spray paint. And I also spray painted one of the Dollar Tree candlesticks. And all I did was glue that right onto the frame of the mirror. And then I popped the actual mirror back in. And here's the final look, you guys. I saw this DIY on another channel. I'm not really sure who it was but I thought it was super cute and I thought it would be great to share with you guys if you haven't seen something like this before it looks really beautiful my husband thinks it was thought it was metallic and I'm like nope that's just you know flowers that are spray painted gold <laughs> so cute for any decor next I'm gonna be using these Dollar Tree canvases now Dollar Tree has a couple of different sizes. This one is the 8x10, which I thought was a pretty decent size for a dollar. You can also get those online as well if you can't find them, which I will link below. Again, we're going to be using our same leftover flowers. And now all I did was take a whole bunch of them, took them outside, and I put them in a box and I spray painted them gold. But you got to shake the box around just to make sure you get an even coating so that the flowers wouldn't be flying around. I had them in the box, but I kept shaking the box so that I would kind of flip them over to get them nice and coated. Again, I'm going to be taking off the back and clipping them with a you know, pair of pliers. You can use scissors. Just be careful. Don't take too much out because then the whole flower might unravel on you. So adding a little bit of hot glue to the back, I went ahead and just glued them right onto the canvas. Now this inspiration is from Z Gallery. They have a really big one where they have a bunch of gold flowers um, scattered all around and I will insert a picture. Um, but this one was so affordable. It's kind of like a look for less you can do with these flowers. You can make them, you know, on a big canvas or you can do them on a small canvas like I have here with the Dollar Tree one. And I'm going to be using three of these canvases to make a trio. But again, you can make, you know, four together, six together, three together. It's all up to you and your space and where you're going to be putting them. And the inspiration had like them starting off really scattered and then they kind of bunched together which I thought was really nice so I have them scattered like on one end where it's like more empty and then more dense on the other end 
and then when I started gluing the other ones I put them all together since they're gonna work together as a trio so that I could see you know how I would arrange them to make everything work well together and here's the first one and I just put the next one next to it so that I you know could figure out how I wanted the second one to work with the first one same process cut the backs and glue them on now you can also paint the canvas as well another color or you can just kind of like use some spray paint just to give it an um, not an even coating but just kind of like an uneven coating just like a quick spray paint that will look well also uh, and the next thing I did was to use these gems I use them all the time I get a giant tub at Walmart and I just added a little bit of a hot glue to the back and then I glued them right at the center of some of the flatter um, flowers just for some sparkle and here's the final look so here are them all three of them together almost like it looks like one unit but you can you know see it's three And here are them like separate so let me know in the comments which one you like best which one of the two DIYs were your favorite these are so quick and easy to do I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to subscribe if you are new I thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate each and every single one of you and I will talk to you in my next video God bless and bye bye